Simply put, they are one of the major powers of the ancient Mediterranean who control the central part of the Mediterranean. It all started with my childhood, you know. Now I look back at things. I grew up in Jordan, so my father was always talking about his house in Jaffa. And as a child, I had to sort of construct Palestine, build images of whatever my father told me as a kid. My father always talked about the 420 villages that the Israelis destroyed, and that number was magic for me. When I came to the first time in my life to Palestine, I was intrigued that the number of villages were 420 villages that exist now in West Bank and Gaza. So I have a mission of protecting the remaining 50% of what has been destroyed. Long before our contemporary love affair with Tuscany, before the Renaissance, even before the phenomenon that was Rome, there was Etruria and the Etruscans. In the thousand years before the Common Era, they lived in what is now central Italy, and their influence spread north to the Alps and south past Rome. Simply put, they are one of the major powers of the ancient Mediterranean who control the central part of the Mediterranean. We know that their culture was formed on Italian soil from about 1100 or 1000 BCE. There's debate about where they came from. That debate may never be answered. Without clear answers as to their origins, we have often labeled the Etruscans as unknowable very mysterious people. Mysterious in, in many ways. Enigmatic. The men and women who farmed and mined and worshipped on these hillsides lived lives no more mysterious than our own. 